More local news now. A Whitefish Bay jewelry store owner apologizes face to face with a Milwaukee Bucks player who felt he was racially profiled in his store. This comes one day after Bucks forward John Henson posted this photo of Schwanky Cast and Jewelers on Instagram. It quickly went viral. Henson called what happened the most degrading experience in his life. Julia Fellow is live in Whitefish Bay with the latest on this story. And as you can hear around me, there are demonstrators right here. We'll actually show you that are in the street right now. Many people saying that they are in support of uh, NBA player um, John Henson. Store owner Tom Dixon actually went to Bucks practice today and personally apologized to John Henson with coach Jason Kidd at his side. All of the Bucks players are standing behind the six foot 11 player. John Henson explains he had to share this emotional message on Instagram because he had never felt racially profiled until yesterday. And that's kind of my biggest thing. If that can save someone from that not happening to, I did my job and uh, I'll be happy. Henson and coach Jason Kidd spoke to the jewelry store owner this morning before Brooks practice. The owner apologized. His employees at the store told the NBA star to go away and then called the police. Henson was told by the owner this was just a horrible misunderstanding. The owner's not a bad guy, misunderstanding, but then this should never happen. That should never happen to somebody. You know, somebody should never have to deal with something like that. Henson tells us the owner referenced the suspicious activity they had experienced recently, and his employees were on alert. The NBA star still believes that is no excuse. Bucks coach Jason Kidd stands by Henson and hopes all of his young players will make this a life lesson. I think it's a great uh, life lesson. For everyone, not just for John or about buying something, but it's for our young team, um, for our city, for our state, but you know, uh, for us to learn from. Stand by. The jewelry store was open today, and demonstrators, as you can see right here, were right outside here. They tell me they're using Henson's story as a platform to highlight prejudices they believe are still in our society. Whitefish Bay police tell us even after they told employees Henson was not a threat, they still ask police to keep watch. You'll hear Henson's reaction to that coming up tonight at 6. Reporting live in Whitefish Bay, Julia Fellow, today's TMJ4. All right, thank you, Julia. Some